Hi everyone. So today I'm doing a um, quick review without application on my lips, just to show you and do swatches. Um, Lisa Eldridge uh, lipstick and lip gloss. It's actually first time I purchased Lisa Eldridge uh, product. Um, we did go to uh, we did go to the shop, which was temporarily um, at. Covent Garden uh, back in October, I think. So it was a few months ago now, nine months ago nearly. Uh, and I think they were only there for a period of time until Christmas or so. And I tried various lipsticks. Um, her lipsticks are um, a lovely quality. And the quality that I like, the formal I like, which is velvet, they haven't got any color that will suit me. There was one uh, fuchsia color, which I really liked, uh, it's for specific makeup, it's for very, you know, it's not for everyday, it's not my everyday lipstick, um, but I like the, I like the formula very much, um, but the uh, colors that I like, colors that suit me, uh, th they weren't any formulas, um, there weren't any colors that, that, um, that I liked, so I was kind of, um, a little bit, um, I won't say frustrated, but I wasn't too impressed with the choice because for me, which is average European appearance, um, skin tone and lips and hair and what have you, um, there wasn't, there wasn't something that I found for myself. Um, anytime I see, um, others wearing, um, her products, it suits them, but I didn't find anything for, for skin with, undertone rose undertone which is mine pink undertone uh, and i always thought that she tailors her products just for someone like herself brunette with brown eyes though her skin is also pale but anyway uh, to cut the story short i did um look at the formula and i wish there was velvet um a velvet formula but in in more Turn down colors like paler, uh, paler uh, colors, lipstick. So I didn't, I didn't buy anything at the time, um, but I liked the velvet formula. And then um, I was told by a friend of mine, Miss Frankie Cat, that um, there were new lipsticks and there were some of my colors. I know she ordered uh, many more. I think four or five lipsticks um, at once, uh, it, and it was blind purchase. I do, uh, I did like the the rose shell which I purchased, uh, this one, and uh, there wasn't anything else that I felt um, would really suit me. So the formula here is not velvet, unfortunately, not the one that I uh, I was really um, looking forward to. This is one luxuriously lucent lip color uh, which is um basically it's like satin not satin it's it's um it's nice formula don't get me wrong it's, it's really nice formula what i do find a little bit undone uh, is the packaging so packaging and this this one is lip gloss uh, you can see I had to write down here that it's gloss because when they are like this, you don't know what's what. You don't, you, I don't see the difference. Um, they, they look exactly the same. Um, and you just need to look at the name, I suppose. So the lip color, um, lip gloss I got, uh, Charm and this one is Rosy Shell. So the lipstick itself, um, quite pleasant, similar to vintage, vintage packaging with a nice, Magnet, I like that one. Uh, magnet, and this is the lip color. It actually looks more um, intense here than it actually is. Um, the formula is quite light, so um, it's quite creamy. It doesn't stay well at all. It's just pleasant lipstick addition to to collection. I would not probably buy. Um, any more products um, of, of that range. Um, I'm not entirely sure it... She could have done that with velvet. Please tell me if I'm wrong. If there is a velvet formula of that pale pink color, I will buy it tomorrow, you know, today, uh, if I know. I haven't seen any. I find I found all the velvet colors are very dark, very dark. Even the lightest are quite dark. Um, what I did like was a lip gloss. To be a luxury brand, you need something more. 
you need something more. I know the prices are average prices, similar to, maybe com comparable to Charlotte Tilbury, but even Charlotte Tilbury, um, you know, her lipsticks uh, are uh, interesting sort of packaging. And uh, there is some, I know there is a signature, I like that signature, L, um, L, um, almost like mine, my L in the signature as well. It's It's beautifully... Um, beautifully uh, thought um, about. So gl gloss I liked uh, very much because the gloss uh, was nice formula, moisturizing formula. It's not sticky at all. It goes well on this um, on this lipstick. It's very beautifully moisturizing. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't move around much but it's it's just nice pleasant gloss that's all i can tell about it um i can't remember the price i think it's about the same together 40 something pounds together this is about 24 25 i don't know i can't remember but um anyway the the uh formula is very very pleasant uh i i'm not sure how to there should be something there should be something change change around it's for example lipstick would be uh gold or, or something and this would be different it should be something different because they shouldn't be exactly the same packaging i don't um, i don't know maybe i'm wrong but um, that's my as a, you know my comment as a consumer comment uh i like the quality lipstick is very well moisture it's moisturizing it's it sits well it's it's nothing but you won't look at me or look at the person with this lipstick on and say oh wow what a beautiful lipstick it's just just a lipstick that's all um color i guess it's a color um that matters and for me a uh, formula i would love to have velvet a velvet formula is beautiful it's not like ordinary matte formula it's so it's very moisturizing as well it's it's incredible formula i just wish there were more colors in that um in that range so that's what i that's all i wanted to say uh i had to tie i had to write down here that it's a gloss because when they here together i was waiting for to do review now probably get rid of the packaging um it's much pretty without it um it's nice it's you know there is little signature here as well her her signature um very pleasant nice formulas i just wish lisa did more velvet uh, velvet um formula lipsticks for blondes um the the uh, you know that colors this type of colors and maybe even lighter uh, but in in uh, velvet formula gloss is pleasant it stays on it does it does if you eat if, or if you have a drink it will disappear but it doesn't smudge away and it doesn't stay on your edges of your lips uh it just almost sinks in as um, with time it's nicely disappearing um with time from your lips so it's nothing um uh, nothing really too special but it's quite pleasant quite pleasant purchase um uh, goes well together um but it's nothing uh, nothing too special um that's all i can say um here we go look forward to more lipsticks and if i have if i find a velvet formula um this sort of range color range um lighter ranges i would buy so far i haven't seen any and um, that's it from me for today um i see you very soon again bye